up guys, hope you're having a great week. This is going to be one of the first videos on making some wood stuff in the backyard. Uh, if you can't tell, it's kind of noisy right now because it is springtime. So there's lawnmowers going, there's apparently a fire somewhere, but there's also lots of plants that are growing. So my wife has asked me to help build a window box actually to plant these guys. We've got some basil, cilantro, and um, mint. I don't even know what that is, but we're going to put it outside of our kitchen and it's actually going to turn it into something like this, but we're going to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to show you guys how this is going to work. So let's get rolling. Oh yeah, so we're actually using cedar, the cedar right there. To make everything, first we're going to start out with the structure and then after we get kind of the frame built, we're going to go back and put in the slats that will actually make it look really cool. Let's get rolling. All right, so we are at the table saw and we are going to rip this cedar board down to an inch and three quarters. Now we gotta cut into strips. Now we are going to cut out basically all the sections. So the links and the measurements, which I don't know right now, but I'm about to find out because I have to measure it off of our other piece. And then we're gonna start gluing it up. All right, so we've got all the pieces cut. And now we are basically just going to assemble it into the top structures like so and then glue it together. Alrighty guys, welcome back. So if you guys did not know, I'm actually calling this channel The Make or Break Workshop. One of those reasons is because there's a lot of great YouTubers out there like this guy, that guy, that guy. They're doing an amazing job and they're gonna teach you a lot of the really good ways to do things. But I am learning right now along with you. There's a lot of things I've never done before and so I thought I would document my adventure so you guys would see the mistakes that I make as well as the things that I make. One of those is put this up in clamps. And then I realized I totally forgot to allow for the inside piece of wood. So when this pulls out, I basically measured my inside dimension from here to here, and I totally forgot about this wood that's gonna go inside. So I actually need to recut a couple pieces and re-glue this frame and then get rolling. All right, so we've got the frames more or less built. Something like slide up. And then we'll have the inside with the actual panels will be in there. And now all we're gonna do is measure the height, six and a half, and then we are going to put it together. Stop block. So much easier. And last but not least, I'm gonna cut these down. These were the ones that I messed up, but actually I'm gonna cut them down to four inches because that will give me, whoops, because that will give me space that I need to finish the frame. All right, almost there. Now all we need to do is cut these down. I'm gonna do this on cross-cut sled, but I could have just done it on the miter saw, but I thought it'd be fun to pull this out, and it's fun just to push it back and forth. So now what we're gonna do, instead of actually putting these on first, so doing something like that, actually going to put in the inside pieces, Basically just because it's gonna make it a lot easier to attach it because I'm gonna be able to use the brad nailer and hit it from the side and then when I put this on, we'll have something to shoot into. Um, I wanna keep the difference on the sides. This gap right here, um, I want that gap to basically split. So I've got something along these lines and I'm gonna measure it and cut it by two. Basically an inch spacer on both sides. All right, so we get those spacers are now cut. And that is going to work.
pretty much put together ish. No tops or no sides. Hopefully it fits. Yeah. And we got a little planner chilling right there. And now all we got left is to cut the bottom. All right, so we had this in the clamps last night. I was gluing up the bottom, and it is pretty much good to go. Uh, a couple things about this that I wish I had done differently. I got lazy, but I got impatient, and so I actually used a stapler down here instead of a brad nailer. So the holes are a good bit larger. Now pretty much all we got left is to sand this sucker down. So we were getting close to the end and I actually showed my wife and she had the great idea of actually putting a lip around the top, which is what you're seeing right now. You guys can see the finished product. What's nice about it is when you're looking at it straight on, you don't actually see that kind of orange piece. So yeah, I think that was a great addition and actually makes it look a lot more finished. I mitered the corners and then just glued on the top and so added a little trim to it. Now all we gotta do is throw a coat of polyurethane on it. All right, last but not least, ta -da. done. Now all we gotta do is take this, put it up against the side of our house, that window. Uh, it's gonna be right underneath it. Actually, as we're sizing it up, I wish I'd made it a little bit wider. So it takes up, it's just super hard. This much, and I wish it was the whole thing, but uh, we're gonna make it work. How that's gonna happen, here is the actual back of it. As you know, that we've got that gap right there. And so I've got a piece that I basically cut to size and it will actually fit in right there. This guy is gonna go up against the wall and this guy's gonna come, it's gonna come up behind it. All right, so let's drill it in, make sure it's centered and get this mounted. Ow, 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 ow. All right, so it's pretty much done. We got the herbs inside, right next to this nice kitchen window. So we can just reach out and grab some herbs. A few things about this that I think we're gonna do a little bit different. We actually have four more that we have to put on to our house. That is actually to make this longer. Uh, we built this one just because this is what we had the herbs already sitting in. So instead of repotting everything, I decided to build one around it. So it doesn't quite fit. It's about five inches on either side. So it'd be nice to have been the entire windowsill. But for what we're wanting, this actually works really, really well. A couple other things are uh, the drainage holes. And so I actually did drill holes. You guys didn't see that. But I forgot on the actual insert part, there are holes already built into that. So I wish I had lined those holes up. Uh, there's still a gap in there so the water will eventually make its way out but i wish i had just lined those up to make that a lot easier but overall pretty easy project i used like my nicer table saw but really if you guys just had a circular saw you could have made all those cuts and you could do something super simple i ended up getting this cedar from home depot it was in the 70 percent off lumber area because i had some pretty nasty knots and so this probably cost us 15 dollars when all was said and done in addition to everything that's actually inside of it. What's great is now we can just reach outside our window and grab some herbs. 
This is the very first video in the Make or Break YouTube channel. If you guys like this, make sure and hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment below with the herb that you use the most in cooking and which ones we should have planted right here. So, hope you guys are doing great, and we will be back soon with another project. See you guys.